The King's Man is a 2021 film starring Ralph Fiennes or Rafe Fiennes? I think he says it like that. I don't know why. There's, there's an L there, Rafe. This film is directed by Matthew Vaughn and it is a prequel to the Kingsman films, also directed by Vaughn, but it's set in the World War I era. While I'm sure Vaughn and the studio were hell-bent on giving us the origin for the badass agency known as Kingsman, they ended up giving me a film that, I'll be honest with you guys, will end up making me lose all my manners that maketh man. What's up everybody, welcome back to The Hess Project. I'm John Ortolaza and today we're talking about The King's Man. It's a 2021 film that just came out a couple days ago, so let's talk about it. Now, originally I had plans to review the two Kingsman movies that came out in 2014, 2017, because I like those movies. Say what you will about the second one, it's not as good as the first one, but I don't hate it. I don't think it's crap and I don't think it's a bad movie. It's just, it is a step down from the first one. That first one is really good. And to, to go back even further, when I trailer dropped for that first movie i thought it was crappy i thought it looked like a ripoff of james bond just looked like a crappy you know movie 43 type thing i legitimately thought that but i didn't know who matthew vaughn was at the time i didn't know he directed x-men first class or kick-ass those are films that i love by the way nonetheless going out of that film i loved it i loved everything about it it's a fun action film and i really wish i got the chance to talk about it in the lead up to this one but we can do that in the lead up to the third one they're probably gonna make a third one at some point so enough talk let's get into this film i'm really really trying not to talk about this film because it sucked. I don't think I looked at my phone to check the time more than I have for this film in a while. Like, I was just constantly like, oh, is this over yet? Is this over yet? For the first 45 minutes of the film, I shit you not. It was just montages and dialogue exchanges, voiceovers going over clips of crap and narrations, not exactly giving us exposition because some narration in movies can do that and it wasn't even that it was just kind of like reading letters and just hearing a voice going over the footage that happened so much in this film it really just made those first 45 minutes feel like it was dragging and it felt like a whole movie in those first 45 minutes once we get to the first scene that's first drawn out scene with uh riz iphon's character i think that's how i pronounce his name i don't know but he's the guy who played the lizard in The Amazing Spider-Man. Once we get to his character and get a scene between him and Ray Fiennes, it's, it's interesting. And he tells him to take his pants off. No, no spoilers, guys, but he tells him to take his pants off, or his trousers. <laughs> and then the, the whole scene just derails, in my opinion. Two of the best actors in this movie get a scene together, and it's derailed within not even two minutes. And then it breaks out into this somewhat decent action scene and then that last that whole exchange between these two characters and then the action scene that whole sequence is like maybe 15 20 minutes and then the movie the rest of the movie just feels like the first 45 minutes just montages voiceovers narrations you guys have no idea how much I appreciate and love Matthew Vaughn's work. I will eventually review Kick-Ass, Kingsman, The Golden Circle, X-Men First Class. I love those four movies. I wouldn't say love Golden Circle. I like it. I really do like it. But I love Kingsman, Kick-Ass, and First Class. I love those three films. And Vaughn has such an eye for things like comic book stuff and big action stuff. And also the little stuff too. This movie just doesn't have any of it. It's just so boring to me. You guys know how I felt about the prequel of Black Widow, but generally with prequels, it's got to be an interesting story, especially when you're going so far back like The King's Man does. It is a hundred years before the Kingsman films. When you go that far back, you are now like disconnected from any of those characters. So it's a new set of people. So the story has to be interesting. And it just wasn't for me. I feel like a lot of those montages where they were doing a bunch of training and whatnot, it just felt like they were breezing over what the Kingsmen were and what they were supposed to be. It only felt like an origin story to the Kingsmen at the very end. <laughs> when they were legitimately like recruiting one another and they sat in the room and they gave each other code names that was the only thing that felt like kingsman to me the majority of this movie just feels like an old-timey flick and then at one point when we follow um the young kid who's the the, the son of ray fine's character he goes into the war and then it feels like saving private ryan for like 20 minutes and there's actually a really cool there's one really cool thing in this movie there's a really cool scene uh, like a nighttime fight scene where all the trenches, the people 
people in their trenches are calm, they're not fighting at the moment, but there's a few that came on both sides with knives and everything and they sought out to slowly kill each other without shooting any gun to alert both sides because if that happened, then all out war would break out during the night when everyone's supposed to rest and that's eventually what happens. They have a really cool silent fight with knives and there's like no music, it's like one note slowly rising during the fight and it's really effective and I love that scene. Why can't the rest of the movie feel like that though? <laughs> Honestly, dude, this movie does not feel like Matthew Vaughn to me. I've seen quite a bit of his work to see what kind of style he's into. I just don't see this in him. This feels like someone trying to be like a Martin Scorsese almost. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like it's going for an Oscar, but there's no Oscar worthy material in here. It's just kind of B level. Dude, it's like D level, honestly. <laughs> I don't mean to sh on any of the actors in this movie. I think Ray Fiennes is probably the best thing of the movie, but I don't even care about his character, man. I don't care about his son, and when his son dies in the movie and he starts breaking down crying, yeah, I feel a little bit. I, I think he pulls off the tears very well. The breakdown is very emotional, but not if I don't care about the character. With the exception of that one night fight sequence that took place between the trenches, there wasn't really a whole lot of action that was grabbing me. There is action in this movie. Not so much in that first half. That second half does have quite a bit of action in it, but none of it is engaging enough for me to, you know, forgive the movie for a very boring start. I mean, first 45 minutes, dude, come on. It felt like an old timey flick in the first 45 minutes. Then when Riz Eifens got on the screen, it felt like a ballerina flick. Then it felt like Saving Private Ryan for 20 minutes. And then in the last 20 minutes, kind of felt like a Kingsman movie. The phone checking, the leaning over to the person you came to the theater with to talk about how bad something you just saw was. These are red flags and you need to fix the movie. You know you did something wrong. I don't know how this movie came to be because it's so bland in my opinion. It lost the identity of the Kingsman to me. The Kingsman films have such a uniqueness to them and this film is so bland, dude. It's like looking at a styrofoam plate with absolutely nothing on it. And Matthew Vaughn directed it. I don't know what happened, but I hope he's okay. And I hope that the next movie he makes, it's better than this because this was a real letdown, dude. I don't think Matthew Vaughn is a terrible director now because of one movie. He's four for five in my books. Again, I really like a lot of his movies. This is just one that, <laughs> I don't even think saying dislike is doing it justice. As a wise man once said, this is dog shit. I personally think a Statesman movie would have been better. It could have been a prequel or it could have been a continuation of the Statesman, even though Channing Tatum is now like normal Kingsman it seems, but uh, I would have preferred to see like a prequel to Kingsman 2, but with the Statesman, show Pedro Pascal, show Channing Tatum and Jeff Bridges, even show other characters too. I'd be down for that. Just something different than this, man, because you went so far back and detached yourself so much from the Kingsman identity, you lost yourself and you just made a movie about nothing. All right, I don't want to talk about this movie any more than I have to, so let me know down below if you're unfortunately wasting your money on the Kingsman this holiday season. You should honestly go watch Spider-Man No Way Home. It's a much better experience and you will walk away not pissed off. So leave a like and subscribe to the channel for new guys and be sure to stick around because there is more to come.